If you're like me and you can't get this daisy workbench to work no matter how many times you try, how many guides you follow, how many changes you make to your computer, then this one's for you. I'm going to show you how to set up code completion for daisy in visual code. It's a game changer for daisy modding. Today's video was inspired by Goonwolf. Thank you, man, for the coffees. Hugely appreciated. He said something about the Infusion script editor. <laughs> Don't even get me started on this thing. He says, uh, basically every line of code I've done in Notepad++ compiled and run in daisydiag.exe. Gotta be a faster workflow than that. You would think so. I wish there was. For me, I do exactly the same thing, except I go one step further. I run everything on my Daisy server. So I run a server and then I load up my game and I log in and I look at the print logs. It's a horrible workflow. I never claim to be a great Daisy modder. If you can get the workbench working, go for it. This video will be about that. If you can't get it working, I'll show you the next best thing, which is using plugins extensions with visual code to get code completion. Uh, this is honestly the next best thing. It's what I've been using lately and it's pretty good. First of all, let me just briefly talk about the workbench. I have a love-hate relationship with this thing. I love the convenience of it, but I just can't use it. It crashes for me constantly, no matter how many guides I follow from reputable modders. I can use it for interface design, layout files, image sets, and so on. It still crashes a lot, still very frustrating, but it works. However, the script editor, I can't get to work with modded files, no matter how many things I've tried, but maybe you'll have better luck than me. So before you do anything, I recommend you come to Dab's GitHub and try to get his template here working with the workbench. If you can get this working, you are already a significantly better modder than I'll ever be, and you have a huge advantage uh, because of your, your access to the debug tools and things like that. Every iteration of Daisy, I give it another crack. 1.28 is the latest release. I try it again, couldn't get it working. I've given up. So today's video is going to be about how to get code completion working in Visual Studio with Daisy modding. It's not as good as the workbench, but it's the next best thing for sure. You'll wanna come and get Visual Studio code. It's free, there's a free version of it. And these are free plugins for Visual Studio. This extension will index the vanilla script files so you can hold down control and click on keywords like links and it will take you to the official vanilla files basically source code documentation if you're lucky some of these functions will have comments explaining what they do many don't and you'll just have to figure it out yourself but this is a great tool so a great efficiency tool and then nscript syntax gives you code suggestions and completion so these two tools when used together are extremely powerful. So what you'll want to do is install Visual Studio Code. I won't show you how to do that. It's pretty straightforward. Once you have this installed, come down to the Extensions tab and type in, start with Infusion Script. So just type in Infusion into the Extension Marketplace. This is what we want. Click Install. And then the other one was NScript Syntax. So type that in. You want this one, not this one. I tried getting this one to work. It didn't work for me. So I am using this one. This one, by the way, is updated very recently this year where the other one was 2020. Whoever created these extensions, um, God bless you. So now we want to install this. Once these are installed, we want to close Visual Studio and reopen it. Now you'll need to come to extensions, click on InfusionScript settings, come down to settings, and then here we need to include the path to your scripts folder. So most of us will be p slash scripts. If you've unpacked your daisy files to somewhere else, extracted the game files to a different location, put that location in here. You can also, if you want to for any particular reason, you can come to the scripts folder, copy this into a different file location and use that instead. So maybe if you wanted to merge mod code with the vanilla files or something like that, maybe you wanna keep Dabs framework and uh, community frameworks code merged, um, you could do that by copying this to documents or something and making this your file path. I'm gonna leave mine as scripts, click okay. And just to be sure, I'm gonna close and reopen Visual Studio again. So let's test it. 
you can come up to file, open a folder, go to your P drive or wherever you keep your mods and open up a folder. I'll open up my template file I've been working with on YouTube. Come to action example. I can close this window now and let's see what happens. Now it can be a bit finicky, unfortunately, um, with some things like for example, right now action data is not giving me any code completion, but if I copy this and get rid of action, data and I just type in action, I get all the code completion suggestions. So I don't know if that's a bug. Hopefully that gets fixed at some point. Um, but I guess, you know, these are the workarounds we have to do when we are using third party tools like this. That's, that's why I prefer the workbench if I could get it to work. But again, I've given up on that. I've given up on my dream. It's more like the dozen workbench to throw a dad joke in there. So what you could do is just rename this action and then name this action data and then do your coding. And then at the end, just get rid of that, paste that over, and you've got your code expressions that you need there. So for example, if I did player base, player equals player base dot cast action data, you'll memorize a lot of these commonly used expressions anyway, or variables. Uh, M player isn't going to show up for me for some reason. And so now when I type player, let's say I wanted to add some health, we get the parameters we need to fill out. So it's a little bit clunky to work with, but Again, better than nothing. So that would heal the player. And if you're not sure what those functions do, now you can hold down control and click on add health and you go straight to the documentation in the window. So really cool plugins here for Visual Studio. I'll be using this going forward for sure. And maybe I can come up with some tips and tricks to make it a little bit easier to work with. For example, if you don't want it to do things like this, how it's adding in brackets and comments and stuff like that, what you can do is press control comma. That'll bring up the settings menu. Then you want to come up here to this little page icon, open settings JSON, and throw a comma on the bottom here and paste this line of code in. Now when I save my settings and go back to my code, when I type some sort of function, I don't get that auto completion messing up my workflow. In future videos, I'll give you more tips and advice as I get more familiar with these tools, but for now, hopefully that's helpful. I know it's hacky, I know it's not great. As I said, if you can get the workbench working, go for it. Certainly everything I do could be done better. I'm a creature of habit. I learned the hard way, the clunky way, on my own, by myself, mostly looking at other people's source code and reading the vanilla scripts files. In fact, throughout all of my modding so far, basically, I've been using Agent Ransack. Uh, I use this program to jump around the vanilla files and figure out what is what and what I need to do. So do as I say, not as I do. Get the workbench working if you can. If you can't, this is here for you. Hopefully this is helpful. I'll speak with you in the next video.